the forehead of your robot. I have Portal 2. It's a great game, I must say. So when the Perpetual Testing Initiative came out, I was excited as can be. So I went on the workshop. There were a few, nobody, early test chambers, and some test chambers made with the Hammer World Editor. So I tried downloading a few of the Hammer Made maps, and some of the earlier ones. Every time I tried to download, or subscribe to them, an error message appeared. The error message said. Her name was Caroline. It spooked me out a little, because that was one of the Oracle Turrets quotes. You know, the perfectly intact turret heading for Doom in Chapter 5. So I tried hard as I could to get the text box to go away. So I clicked on the back arrow, and surprisingly, a well-made test chamber for its time appeared on the workshop. I eagerly clicked on it, and I didn't see the name. But I looked at its page and the test chamber's name was, Fratricide. Which, oddly enough, it was an achievement from Portal. But it didn't tell who made the test chamber. I was assuming it was an experienced mapper, who practiced making test chambers using the puzzle creator. I subscribed to it, and another error message appeared, and said. Don't make lemonade. I was surprised it wasn't one of the her name was Caroline messages. I exited it out, but another error message appeared. It said, yes, and, no. I was a bit spooked, so I hit, yes. I regret doing that nowadays. It took me to a level called, don't make lemonade. Of course, it had a lot of grammatical mistakes. But I fixed them when I was writing this. The level was an old aperture themed level. A slowed down version of Potato S Lament was playing in the background. I noticed something strange about the level, but it wasn't the music. On the catwalk where you exit the elevator where you enter the level, there was a body, slumped in pain, and it was, well, turned into glass. I was freaked out, for the first time when I was playing a Portal 2 level. I walked to the boxy test chamber, and I looked to my left. There was a sign warning you about your future self. There were some nonsensical scrawlings in the room where I was. I solved the first puzzle. I looked around, there was a stairwell. At the bottom of it, there was a portable surface. Brilliant. I said out loud, but of course, curiosity got the best of me, and I walked down the stairwell. On the portable surface, I looked at it. Vitrification order, it said in capital letters on the portable surface, but it wasn't scrawled in with chalk. It was scrawled in what looked like blood. I was a bit scared, because you wouldn't see such gore in a game rated E10+. So I walked back up, and just solved the puzzle. It took me a good 5 minutes to solve the puzzle. There was a vitrified door, and I looked at it, oh man. There was a pipe with propulsion gel streaming down. There was also another one of those bodies turned into glass. I was starting to wonder what Aperture Science was really doing, with their vitrification orders. So I just shot a portal, and solved the next puzzle. A flash of light appeared on the screen, and I was in shock for a split second. Then I saw a thermal discouragement beam. I was surprised that 1950s, 60s, 70s, or 80s Aperture had thermal discouragement beams. So I just solved the puzzle without any care. There were no scrawlings, or glass corpses. I chuckled, this part looked like a legit enrichment sphere part. But then, the music just stopped. I sure wasn't chuckling then. I solved it, and I was surprised. The exit elevator closed as I was catapulted at it. I looked, and there was a boxy building. It read, all capital letters, control room, on one of the sides of it. To the left of it, there were more code scrawlings. I gingerly walked toward the control room. It looked like a normal office, but there was some stuff removed. And there was blood stained across the walls and floor. There were a lot of bodies, just littering the floor, all limp, and what seemed to be knife wounds. I literally, nearly puked. There was a scrawling on the wall. It read, all capital letters. Don't do it Joseph. I was freaked out. How did the level know my name? There was a button. I walked to it, should I press it or not? But I pressed it anyway. All of a sudden, another chill walked into the room, the music changed into a loud screech that nearly damaged my hearing. The other chill just walked toward me, her face, expressionless. 
The screech became louder as she came closer. I got up from my chair, and ran to the door, but it wouldn't budge. When I looked at my computer, the other Chell was near my player. Which was Chell. She just stopped walking, and stared. After 15 seconds, Portal 2 crashed. The door was suddenly unlocked, but I walked to my computer, a text file was created. It said. You did it anyway Joseph. I opened the text file, and I was greeted with an ASCII version of Chell. I screamed and closed the file shut, and ran out of my room. A few days after playing Don't Make Lemonade, I decided to write the Morse code down, and translated it. It read, all capital letters. You did it anyway Joseph. You just had to press it.